In a groundbreaking display of cutting-edge military technology, the U.S. just installed a high-powered laser system on a U.S. aircraft carrier, sending shockwaves through the global defense community. The unveiling of this state-of-the-art laser marks a significant leap forward in naval warfare capabilities, heralding a new era of precision and power projection at sea. With the ability to engage threats with unprecedented accuracy and speed, this revolutionary weapon system is set to redefine the boundaries of maritime warfare. So, what is this laser system capable of? And why did the U.S. install a laser system on the ship in the first place? Join us as we delve into the details of this game-changing development and explore the implications of this futuristic weapon system on the future of naval warfare. And without much ado, let's get started. The U.S. Navy operates the largest and most advanced fleet of aircraft carriers in the world. These carriers are designed to operate in hostile environments, projecting air power to support ground operations, enforce no-fly zones, and engage in direct combat operations. The strategic importance of these vessels cannot be overstated, as they allow for rapid deployment of military assets to any corner of the globe, thereby serving as a key component of the United States' ability to respond to crises and conduct military operations without the need for local basing rights. Central to the fleet's dominance is the USS Gerald Ford, which marks a new era for aircraft carriers. This ship is larger and more powerful than its predecessors and incorporates several technological advancements that enhance its operational capabilities. Among these innovations is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, a technology that represents a significant upgrade over the traditional steam catapults used to launch aircraft from carrier decks. EMALS allows for the smoother and more efficient launch of a wider range of aircraft, including the latest generation of fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles. Another groundbreaking feature of the USS Gerald Ford is its Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, designed to safely recover aircraft landing on the carrier. This system provides greater control and reliability than previous systems, reducing the wear and tear on both the aircraft and the carrier. Furthermore, the USS Gerald Ford boasts significantly enhanced survivability features, including improved hull design, damage control capabilities, and reduced radar signature, ensuring the vessel remains formidable in any conflict scenario. The power generation capacity of the USS Gerald Ford is nothing short of revolutionary. Equipped with two A-1B nuclear reactors, the carrier has a power output far exceeding that of the Nimitz-class carriers. This abundance of power propels the ship and supports its advanced systems and future-proofs the vessel for the integration of energy-intensive weapons like laser defense systems. Such capabilities ensure the USS Gerald Ford can operate at peak efficiency for decades, with the reactors requiring refueling only once in the ship's expected 50-year service life. However, with the rapidly advancing technologies, this carrier had become vulnerable, especially from the smallest and most significant threat to ships nowadays – drones. The advent of drone technology has revolutionized modern warfare, introducing new challenges that traditional missile defense systems and aircraft carriers are not equipped to handle efficiently. These systems, designed during an era where high-speed ballistic missiles and manned aircraft were the primary threats, face significant limitations when confronting the low-cost, high-volume drone swarms of today. Economically, the disparity between the cost of drones and the missiles used to intercept them is stark and unsustainable. Traditional missile defenses such as the Patriot or SM-3 are engineered to target high-value threats, including ballistic missiles and advanced fighter jets. These missiles can cost millions of dollars per shot, a figure that dwarfs the expense of manufacturing a simple drone, which can be as low as a few hundred dollars. This cost imbalance means that an adversary employing drone swarms can force a defending force to expend valuable assets on low-cost threats depleting missile stocks and imposing a severe financial burden on the defense system. This strategy of attrition, leveraging the economic disparity between offense and defense, poses a serious challenge to traditional defense mechanisms. Logistically, the capacity to store, maintain, and reload missile defenses imposes further constraints. A naval vessel or a ground-based missile battery can only carry a finite number of interceptors. In the face of a swarm attack, this limitation becomes critical. Once the stored interceptors are exhausted, the defending unit must withdraw to rearm, leaving critical assets unprotected. Moreover, the time and resources required for rearming and maintenance of these complex systems can hinder rapid response capabilities. 
reducing operational flexibility and readiness. The physical and logistical footprint of traditional missile defense systems, therefore, make them less effective against agile and numerous drone threats. Additionally, the tactical and operational doctrine underlying traditional defenses often does not account for the unique challenges posed by drone swarms. These systems rely on detecting, tracking, and engaging targets individually, a process that becomes overwhelmed when faced with multiple simultaneous threats. The saturation of defense radar and targeting systems by a large number of drones can lead to lapses in defense, allowing some drones to penetrate and achieve their objectives. Adapting to this new reality requires not only technological innovation, but also a shift in tactical and strategic thinking to ensure that defenses remain effective and sustainable in the era of drone warfare, which is why the U.S. chose laser technology as the new defense system against these small threats. The introduction of laser weapons marks a revolutionary shift in defense technology, offering a promising solution to the limitations of traditional missile systems. As military strategists grapple with the challenges posed by low-cost drone swarms and other emerging threats, laser weapons stand out for their speed, cost-effectiveness, and operational efficiency. This new class of weaponry, once the stuff of science fiction, is now becoming a critical component of modern military arsenals, promising to redefine the dynamics of combat and security. Laser weapons, or directed energy weapons, offer a fundamental advantage in speed. Operating at the speed of light, they can engage and neutralize targets almost instantaneously. This characteristic is invaluable in countering fast-moving or swarming threats, where the window for response is extremely narrow. Unlike missile systems which require time to launch and travel to their targets, lasers can strike the moment a threat is detected, providing unparalleled reaction times. This capability ensures that threats are neutralized swiftly, minimizing the potential for damage or casualty. From a cost perspective, lasers represent a paradigm shift. The primary expense associated with laser weapons is the initial investment in the system and its power source. Once deployed, the marginal cost of firing a laser is negligible, often amounting to just a few dollars per shot for the electricity used. This stands in stark contrast to traditional missile systems, where each interceptor launched can cost millions of dollars. In scenarios where forces might face large numbers of low-cost drones or other targets, the economic advantage of lasers becomes clear. By significantly reducing the cost per engagement, lasers allow for a sustainable defense posture even in the face of sustained or voluminous attacks. Efficiency is another hallmark of laser weapon systems. They are not subject to the same logistical and operational constraints as missile defenses. Lasers do not require ammunition in the traditional sense, eliminating the need for storage, transport, and reloading of physical ordnance. This reduction in logistical footprint simplifies operations and enhances the mobility and readiness of military forces. Furthermore, laser systems can be designed to have a high rate of fire and, with adequate power, can engage multiple targets in quick succession, providing a continuous defense capability that is not possible with conventional systems. Another significant advantage is the stealth and precision of laser engagements. Lasers emit no visible signature and produce no sound making it difficult for adversaries to detect and trace the source of an attack. This allows forces to neutralize threats while maintaining a low profile, preserving the element of surprise in tactical situations. The precision of laser weapons also means that they can be used in densely populated or sensitive areas where minimizing collateral damage is paramount. The advent of laser weapons represents a significant advancement in military technology offering a solution to the challenges posed by modern threats such as drone swarms. As nations adapt to the evolving technological landscape, the deployment of laser systems on naval vessels is expected to provide a significant edge in defense and offensive operations. This technological leap forward will not only enhance the capabilities of navies, but also alter the strategic considerations of maritime conflict. Laser weapons are set to revolutionize how navies protect their assets from threats. The ability of these systems to deliver precise, rapid, and cost-effective responses to various targets, from unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, to incoming missiles, offers a game-changing advantage. The instantaneity with which lasers can neutralize threats significantly reduces the window of vulnerability during an engagement, enhancing the survivability of naval vessels in contested spaces. Moreover, 
The virtually limitless ammunition provided by laser systems, limited only by power availability, ensures sustained operational readiness without the logistical burdens associated with traditional munitions. On the offensive front, integrating laser weapons into naval strategy will expand the tactical options available to commanders. With their precision and minimal collateral damage, lasers could be employed in targeted strikes against enemy sensors, communications, and other critical systems. Blinding and crippling adversaries without escalating conflicts to full kinetic engagement. This capability introduces a new layer of strategic depth to naval operations, where the focus shifts from outright destruction to incapacitation and control, offering a broader range of responses to emerging threats and scenarios. However, the future of naval warfare is not solely contingent on the technological prowess of laser systems. It will also depend on how navies adapt their doctrines, training, and operational concepts to fully leverage the advantages offered by lasers. Integrating artificial intelligence and machine learning into targeting and decision-making processes, combined with advanced sensing and communication technologies, will further augment the effectiveness of laser weapons, creating a highly interconnected and automated battle network. And there you have it, a glimpse into the future of naval warfare powered by laser technology. Intrigued by the prospect of ships armed with light-speed defenses? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights. Stay tuned for more adventures that push the boundaries of modern warfare. Until our next journey, stay sharp.